Hello. It's it's Outer Wilds time. Hope everybody's been having a good day so far. I have been I've been waiting to get back to this. How's how's your day been, Jack? All right. So, remembering where we left off. Oh no, I got I got through that entire one section and then proceeded to not Wait, hold on. I need to I need to mark the thing cuz it didn't save it. It has drastically improved. Well, I'm I'm glad that the last like three and a half minutes of your day have been good. I hope that the rest was at least like passable. Okay, yeah. So we have to get into the Forbidden Archive, and I forgot to watch one of the one of the three slideshows that were there. And then we need to find the last secret location, which is by a house. Somewhere. We don't know where. Oh, coming in a little hot here, but that's fine. Yum. I still want to know what their language is like. I want to I want to read all the notes they left behind. Outer Wilds time. Let's go. All right, so first order of business, get thing. Coming in a little hot here, but that's fine. All right, so there are there are three spots that we're able to meditate from. We're going to that one. Because I need I need to I need to find out what's on that last slide. It's probably gonna be like the most critical thing that I just didn't look at. Oh, alright, I hit that rock kinda hard, but it's fine. Uh yeah. Luckily, this shouldn't be too hard to to get through. I just have to not be a dumbass about it. Which, admittedly, is hard for me. It's just kind of a natural instinct to engage in dumbassery. But it'll be fine. This this whole like meditation thing is is just super cool to me. It will never not be. Oh. Yeah, okay. So they're not out yet because I haven't activated the thing. So I have to go down here, right? Past this guy. Don't let him see me, because that's not very cool. All right. This is going to suck. 
because I already hated it the first time. And Jack, don't you dare. Okay. We... There we go. So we have to get from where we are over there. Oh. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. I was I was never here. You did not see me. Oh, I don't know where he is. Okay, he's over there. I think I'm safe-ish here. Okay. This is among the worst of it that we've gotten through now. No, it's okay, buddy. I'm not here. Never have been. Okay, just walk straight for a little bit. I don't know where I've gone. I've misplaced myself. Oh, they can set it off too. That's not good. He had his light on me and that made the, the lantern or the statue start freaking out. Okay. So I know they're down there somewhere, I just don't know where, and I just need to get to that back door. Once I'm in the back door, I'm set. Okay, you guys didn't see anything. I'm not here. I'm very much not here. Okay. Whew. How's everyone else doing? Hopefully you are less stressed than I am. But I imagine that's probably pretty easy to be less stressed than I am right now. Okay, so that's the eye. That's... One of these I haven't seen. I'm just going to take them one at a time. Double check. Okay, so they can, they can ding, ding, ding to wake themselves up. But if they're dead... Oh...
So the bell can the bell can wake you up if you're sleeping and in the thing. But if you are dead and inside it. Yeah, obviously, I mean, they, they can't wake up your corpse. So you stay inside. Yeah, and then, yeah, they blocked off the eye of the universe. And then this one is, this one is just the note about you can be dead and inside it and be fine. So I wonder, this is really dumb, but is there a way to, to kill yourself in the room with the artifact? Also, I really hope that's all that there was to be done here, because there's always a way if you try. Yeah, you're right. I just want to see, I want to see this in virtual world. Am I close enough? Just barely. I mean, I'm going to do it. Just kidding. It's going to wake me up. Aha. Uh -huh. So. There is one more spot to investigate. I'm pretty sure that's the end of, of this one spot. The dam is... Oh, the dam is very close to bursting. I should probably get a raft and top up my, uh, my fuel. Okay, so there is a there is a third spot that we haven't found yet, and unfortunately, I believe it's near. Um, I don't want to I don't want to pile into the rock. I was trying to pile it around on the other side, but that was probably a dumb call. Um, so somewhere around here. Well, there goes the dam. So we're about to go for one heck of a ride. Yeah, because this stuff... None of that is what we're looking for, I'm pretty sure. That's just the bell. There was a... This isn't that one house, right? Except it might be. Did you listen to the track at River's End yet? Um, I... Like, I hung out by the end of the river. Oh, there's a raft inside this house. Um, I hung out by the end of the river, but I wasn't able to find... Or I wasn't able to hear any specific track for that spot. It just went silent for me. I need to be on a raft. 
Yeah, so sorry, that's that's what I'm saying. Is like so I was I was on a raft and I put myself near the end and when I sat still the music just stopped instead of doing anything else. Oh. Alright, well apparently I'm stuck in the river now. Since the last hidden area is, I'm pretty sure, in the lowlands here, I'm going to need to probably reset so that we can actually be in the lowlands before or after the dam broke. I think it was, I think it was after the dam broke. I mean, I'll go around and I'll, I'll go straight to the top of the dam this time and we'll see how it works. That's okay. I mean, I'm like we're about to loop back in anyway, so might as well take a look and see if we can make it work. I appreciate you reminding me about it cuz you said you you said you were a big fan. So, I I wanted to hear it, but I just wasn't able to trigger it when I tried. Bye, Deep Space Probe. I'll miss you. Okay, let's confirm that I actually got what I was looking for down here. Yeah. There's an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. Yeah, so they had died. Outside. Alright, let's take one more look at this. This is... This is somewhere in the lowlands. It's like a little hidden spot behind a house. Okay. So we'll head up to the top of the dam from here. And we'll see what they have in store for us before it breaks. See if we can get those those tunes going. I do love that like the sound is really muffled whenever you're in a spot that doesn't have oxygen. But as soon as you do, it just like everything gets so much crisper. Okay. So I'm going to park myself in this raft here. It's very quiet and serene. Oh. Yeah, no, that's... That's the end of the universe song right there. It took a second for it to kick in, but yeah. Well, it's 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 very close to it. That's very nice. The minor key version. Hmm. Okay, so somewhere around here is a house. And near it oh wait. Right right here. This and then right there.
Oh, but I'm... Oh, no, I don't need one of the things for in here. Aha, you can't stop me. I already know all your tricks. Or sorry, I guess when, when I said the end of the universe song, I meant like, yeah, that one that we had all of our pals playing at the end. So yes, the Harthian song. Yeah, no, sorry, not not that one. Alright, let's let ourselves out here so we can go grab a lantern and find out what's on this last thing. Oh, I do like I do like at least knowing that we're not gonna get booted out of Uh, or we shouldn't get booted out of our meditation session in this spot. Because this section always stays above water. Which one of these has the, the secret in it? That one. Anyway, we'll take a lantern over now. All right, tell me your secrets, pals. So the hand and the little bridge. I haven't even been here, so we're gonna have to wing this. He follows the wisps and walks straight through the fire. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I don't think we've actually been in this meditation spot before, so this is going to be interesting. I kind of want to know why that flickers every time. I don't entirely know what what's going on with that. It's always at a certain point in the loop that that Oh. I wonder if that's the sun station going in. Have I explored above the dam yet? Yes. I think I've I think I've done just about everything up there, with the exception of meditating inside the bell and getting to the actual like I haven't gotten the codes to input at the bell inside. What have I seen at the dam? Outside of the bell? I'm pretty sure I've looked around all the buildings up there. And I've gone into that little, like, observation room that they have at the, like, that you can walk off the dam and get into it. Saw the thing on the table? Yes. Alright. Let's just blind run this whole thing for the first time. You can say what the thing is. It's never explained otherwise. Okay, bring it on. Because I don't, like, I, I know that I saw the table. I don't specifically remember. Oh, they're, they're solar sails, right. So is that just them kicking on so that we, so that we can just get out? Yeah, 
sorry i i did remember i did remember uh realizing that that it was going to be going away outside of the radius i didn't realize that that like flickering was them turning on i thought it was just going already but that makes sense Man, this realm got like a whole lot more sinister out of nowhere as soon as they had the uh, the first like lights off session. It's just I'm I'm constantly afraid now. Even though I know they're not out yet. Or they shouldn't be if they follow the same pattern. Ow. Apparently my my astral body is not built for short jumps. Speedrun strats are not a thing here. I don't like how much noise y'all are making over there. Hi, buddy. I get the impression I might have been supposed to find this one first so that I would, like, physically see him. I mean, I guess you see hints of them at, at any of them. Like, there's the guy watching the the film. Have I been to the other side of this yet? I have not. I'll go check out the spot that I know is out there shortly. Oh, this is just a shortcut if I want it. I can go from the meditation room up here and get pulled right across. It's always good to know. I do also like Well, I don't I don't like any of it. I I hate everything about this uh Are they out? You guys aren't supposed to be out yet. So, I generally stay out of his line of sight. So, I'm just going to follow them. Because he followed these guys. That's the dam going. Oh, I don't like how close you have to follow behind, because I'm sure the other one is coming any second. Oh. No, this one does get filled up. Cool. Man, if only I died in that room, I wouldn't have gotten pulled out. Okay, so we go fast this time. Well, actually, I, I mean, I guess they, they like, dissolve, too, so probably putting out the fire just ends the simulation.
Kind of interesting that it's linked to whether or not the fire is lit. I guess that's a way to just to make sure they have an absolute failsafe. Alright, Shrouded Woodlands. Found a covered bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. Found a hidden slide reel that shows a container. Okay, we know that. Figure follows a procession of green lights through a forest into a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind a roaring fireplace. I mean, we can do that. I'm not going to need this ship. I can just crash it into whatever I want. All right. I don't know why I always went for the raft when my destination is right here. All right. Let's go. So, we gotta go fast with this one. So what was the path I took? I took a very roundabout path that I didn't need to, because they hand me a shortcut. Ha! Huh, wait. I'm hilarious. Hang on. Bear with me for a second, guys. Because my, my comedy knows no bounds. They, uh... They hand me a shortcut. Eh? Alright, well, I thought it was okay. Alright, so we know that these guys... are going into a hole in the ground. And if we're fast, we can beat them into it. At great personal pain. Why do I make you suffer? Because this game is making me suffer, okay? Wow, they really have a like a rave going on in here. Oh, jazz music stops. Hi, guys. No. No, what if we didn't? What if perhaps anything but that? So, that is certainly, um, a thing. This is one of the more involved ones to figure out. Oh boy. So, there's... There's probably more I gotta do before trying to get in there because I've gotta I've gotta lure them away from the rave. Hmm. Let's think about how this can be done. So I see one going in there right now.
Why were my footsteps in sync with the music back there? Hold on, we'll do it again. No, okay. There was a very brief moment there where my footsteps like synced up with the with the tune of the music, and it was a very weird cadence to the steps. Wait, I wonder. This is the stupidest idea, but I'm going to try it. No, okay. I was curious if they just wouldn't question me if I walked in behind them. Because, like, they're all walking with their lanterns forward. So if one more just shows up with his lantern forward... Turns out that's not the answer. Hmm. Yeah, I just figured I needed to like get initiated into the cult. Like they already had very culty vibes, but that's uh Okay, so that's the thing activating. Let's take a look around here. Where are they coming from? Because I think that is our next most important question, is just... Is there is there something that they're... That I can do back here? They've left their homes behind. Oh. No, it's fine. You... Go ahead and keep walking. I'm not going anywhere. Not with your ugly ass. Nope. No, sir. No way, no how. Did he leave his door open? He did not. No! I knocked on your door by accident. I'm sorry. But that... Okay, so that makes me think now. Because I can clearly get them to open the door. Either that or I just timed that extremely poorly. those lights on. That's so useless to me. <sighs> hmm. This this is a start at least. I have a th I have a thing I can interact with. And that is more than we've had for a lot of this. What if... Can we just... Yeah, we can. Oh, where's the little bridge? Right here. Okay, so we're going to find this out. No. No. Oh. 
There's... They do have a little back porch there. Hmm. This house does not have a back porch. One of one of these built families can afford it. So I think I just timed it poorly. They do close the door right behind them when they leave. I feel like the dam is going to burst any second, which means we're probably not even going to make it to the to the rave room. So What do we what do we know so far? There's a constant filtering of gentlemen over to the rave room. There may be there may be a path somewhere that I've missed. Going into the room is basically just a trap for myself because I'm I'm handing myself to them and they don't take kindly to visitors. I guess I'll see if there's anything that maybe I missed in this direction. Doesn't look like it. Where did I put the cave? Right down there. Yeah, following this guy is almost certainly going to get me killed in, under the water, but yeah, there it goes. Hey, loser. What if I just... Are they allergic to strobe lights? Okay. Um... Hints available if needed. Yeah, I was thinking, I was basically thinking, like, if I got to the end of this without feeling like I discovered at least part of the trick, I was going to ask for a nudge. So I think I, I will take a little nudge if you've got one. Because I've got... I've got a chunk of information, but my brain is not getting to the point of putting it together in the right way, I don't think. I've seen something happen twice now, you just saw it as things ended. So those guys, like, dissolve when their lights go out. How do you think I can use that to your advantage? I might ha I might have something. I might, but that's it's a long shot. For now, we at least know We, we at least know we have this time to do whatever the heck we want. Because we can't get in there anyway. 
until until they're out of the way. So I'm going to try something here. For those not in the know, because I haven't done this in a little while, uh, there is an amount of moving between different areas that you can do by, by going into and out of rafts in these chambers, in these like little simulated areas. I think... From the right starting point, I could get to a dock in this, in the lower area, and be alive still when all the other guys go away. Because if everyone that populates that realm is... is in that room specifically, when it goes underwater, they will all vanish but since my anchor point is somewhere that is above the surface of the water I will not be booted out which means as a little bonus I am perfectly safe in this in this area because I never have to turn off the lights here and the guys never get pissed off So we know we extinguish this light, that opens the door. And then I, that makes me wonder if once we've opened things up, hmm. Once, once we've, once we've let the water go through and those guys are gone, I doubt they're going to make it that easy that I'm just safe in that realm. I guess maybe it contrasts with the fact that it's the only one that I'm in danger in by default, but still. I doubt that's I doubt that's going to be the case. There's probably going to be... They have the ability to get back and forth between these areas. They could just as easily send some extra guys over there to intercept me. Okay, so this spot... Have I been here? I've been... Yeah, I've been here. That's not what I'm here for. Bye, guys. You can take the boat. Oh, the only problem is if this will... I mean, I, th I think I'm still safe to come out around here. I'm not going to pass by a dock that I care about. I don't remember there being a dock I passed by in this lower one. Which could present an issue in itself. I might have to find a way to get in there and... Oh, wait, no. There was a dock here, wasn't there? Yeah. The problem was there wasn't a dock in, originally, in the one that I just started in, but I create the dock in order to get onto the boat here. So now I can head through this cave, but the door's shut. So I have to find a way to turn off the lights here. Thing 
things are all back ass words now. Unless, unless this may not even work, but it's worth a shot. Get over here, raft. No, I w I'm not high enough to get spotted by that hand. No, no other hands on the shore. Um, huh? It's a feature. Indeed it is. Somehow. And this has just been an option the whole time? Okay, I... I have a thought. Unless this is just stupid and doesn't work the way I think it does. There's no way it just lets me back up. No. And this is absolutely going to knock me. Um... There's a, there's a light up there. Okay, let's... Let's look and see if we can make sense of this. I can't... Wait, is this... No, alright. Um... What? Does that work between all of them? Only one way to find out, I guess. Man, I really thought that uh, these guys couldn't survive any long falls, but they have uh, they've proven me wrong. At least once. Alright, come here. Alright, so I go to the Void Between Worlds. Right. Once I'm in the dark. Am I just safe to navigate over to this one, too? There's no way.
No, right? No. Okay. Um... I can just put it behind me, literally. Let's see what there is to write home about here. You know, there's light coming from the ceiling. I'm curious if the deal with that is that we have to... Oh. Why are you like that? That, does that mean what I think it means? Well, there go all the guys. But we still can't access... Or maybe we can? Maybe we can still access the thing. I'd be curious to know if all the lights go out when the lights from that section go out. Or, like, when that section is shut down. I doubt it's going to be that easy. Wait, can I have my boat? No, I can't. Okay. Well, we're going to we're going to check out the the one space then. We're going to see if the lights turned off. Okay, so my thoughts so far are I might need to turn off the lights here in order to have the light stop shining down on the bridge in the in the void between worlds. Interesting, because you can't can't tell that there's anything different here. It's just like a liminal space in between. So I might need to shut off the lights here in order for the light to stop shining on that one bridge. The other one... It might be code-related. Like, punch in the right code and you've got... And, like, it'll set the bridge's heights to the right level. And then I have I have actually been up there. And then we already know how to activate or deactivate the last one. Because they they basically hand it to us if we jump off. No, all the lights are still on here. Which means that won't be open. Um, wait. 
Wait, is that it? Bruh. If it's been that easy this whole time. I just missed that entirely. Or was that facing the other direction? Either way, yeah, this one is definitely more involved. I also do like, I've noticed it a couple times, but I'm pointing it out this time. When you wake up, when you're looking up, sometimes you will just, like, you're, you'll open your eyes and that's it. Sometimes you'll blink a couple times. I've, I've already made note of, like, when you blink, you'll see the quantum moon. And you'll see it, like, disappear and reappear randomly because you've stopped observing when you blinked but i love the fact that because because sometimes you don't blink it just stays there you'll look up and you'll see the quantum moon and i mean it'll go away by the time you get to your ship anyway there's no avoiding that but i just love that little bit of like sometimes it'll be there sometimes it'll go away if you never if you never find any of the notes about it somehow like if you never find a single note about the quantum moon if you do enough loops, you'll eventually pick up on the fact that there's an object that sometimes you see and sometimes it goes away. Alright, so... The plan is as follows. We... We grab lamp. Sorry, artifact. We grab artifact. We go to the first meditation zone. Inside first meditation zone. We take a look around and we disable... Uh, that lamp, if we can. Yeah, like, th that's that's such a big thing, is like... Because for, for a game about exploration... The last thing you want to do is get, like, just lumped onto a linear path with with no choices of what to do. With this, like, you can start with any celestial body, and there is there are things that you can investigate that are unique to it, and then there are hints of other directions you can go. Okay, there we go. So, that is... That is our path created for us. Now, now that it's open, I don't think we need to go and do anything else, necessarily. The dock should already be lit up for us. We don't need to do anything else here. What we can do now is throw ourselves into the water now that the pathway is open and we can get back here whenever we want. Okay, I do have the lantern with me. In the, in the pure dark, it was tough to tell if I was carrying it or not. Alright, so now... We'll take this raft and we'll go up to the one that we won't get booted out as soon as the water comes through. I still can't believe they just, like, waited for me, and I guess they weren't really waiting for me in the rave room, they were just having their rave, but so rude of them. Like, we both knew they were going to kill me, why did they have to drag it out for so long? Just, like, slowly approaching me, standing and staring at me for a little while beforehand. It's just disrespectful. Alright, now... Just drop ourselves in here real quick.
Okay. So while I have time, because we have to wait for the dam to burst anyway, let's investigate a theory. I want to I want to prepare this. Because before, I had a thought that if the lights were out, the room between worlds would not uh, have light in it. And so theoretically, if that were the case, I could get in, do what I need to do, get out. Without too much difficulty? Wait, I don't want to be here. I want to be... Where do I want to be? Am I... Am I losing my mind? I might be. Oh, I have to go around the other side. So anyway, if I can turn off the light in here, and that disables the bridge out there, or, or it turns off the light above the bridge, so I can just walk across and not worry about the statues, then I'm set. I'm golden. If it doesn't do that, I guess we have to go back to the drawing board and find a different potential solution. But for now, we have this. So let's go kill the lights. The other bonus is... And now that I think about it, I wonder if that's like a speedrun strat. Um, we know that dying, even when the lights are off, all it does is send you back out to the meditation area. I overshot it, didn't I? Hold on. Send send me back. Send me back. There we go. We know that you get sent back to the meditation area if you die here. So, like, jumping off a building or jumping into the water or getting your neck snapped does not carry heavy consequences. So, the fun that comes from that is... I don't need to try and sneak past them all. I can just kind of... And now I'm, like, I'm, I should have realized this before. I'm closer to the elevator now than I was then. And with the lights off, I can just walk right to the dock and leave. Like, thanks for turning your lights off, suckers. And now while we wait for the casket to open... Wait, if I'm doing this... No, the lights are still on over there. Or at least the light above in the ceiling. Hmm. And that's that's the main issue. Okay, if I'm going to throw myself in the water to get back, I want to I'm going to send the boat partway over first so that I can catch it from both sides if I need to. Now, my second theory. Um, actually, this might work if I like drop this over here and walk back over. Aha, theory confirmed. So, what I haven't realized, or what I hadn't realized this whole time, is that 
every area I've been going to, they've burned away the codes. I thought it was just a matter of like, oh no, this idiot doesn't have the codes. Uh, he's gonna have he's gonna have to find like a hidden spot where maybe they hid away a code and forgot that they had it. But no, I'm finding ways to break their simulation, which means either there's something that if I set my my artifact down over here, maybe there's something that I uncover by doing this. Maybe I just have to brute force it. I don't know. I don't visually see anything different, but let me take a look. Because I'm not... I'm not seeing any, like, visual change from messing with different settings. So my my guess is that the third area I go to is going to have some kind of uh secret that we're going to unlock, I guess. I've already seen this, but Yeah, so we already Yeah, we already did this. So the third area, as soon as the dam bursts, we're going to get some kind of indication of how or or learn something there that will teach us how to get across that bridge is my guess. So at this point, it's a matter of waiting. I've already confirmed. Oh, the raft is back at the fully at the other end. Cool. It's actually exactly where I need it to be. So that's two down. If the dam bursts and we figure that out, then we'll be we'll be set on number three. Wait, why did I come all the way up here? I need to I need to die so that I can meditate and go back to where I need to be. Woo! I'll race you to the bottom, elevator. Aha, I win. Speed racer. Okay. I imagine we're getting close to dam bursting time now, so I'm just going to head over to the proper area and get ready to, to rush through. Speak of the devil. I'm getting, I'm getting somewhat decent at predicting the timing of some events, I guess. So, if, oh, yep, there's, there's me tilting sideways. OK, 
Okay, so we'll we'll rush over. They should be gone. I imagine there's there's still gonna be at least one wandering around that like migrated in from a different tower. Which is gonna be real annoying. Because I've already dealt with enough danger around here, thank you very much. But we are at least prepared and we have the way open for us. And we know we know where we need to go. Actually. Yeah, well there might be so, still some guys left. I wonder if I mean the fact that some lights are on leads me to believe that it's not gonna be as bad as the others now that we've gone this far. But then again, what do I know? Because I assumed this place would be safe because I hadn't shut off the lights yet, but there were dudes that would kill me. The fact that the candles are still around leads me to believe... I mean, if it were to behave like the other areas, it has not become more dangerous. Because in the other areas, as soon as you turned off the lights and made them freak out, all the candles would disappear. So, like, you had no chance of... I don't see them out here. I don't see any lights. This feels wrong. I, I don't buy it, also. I don't buy it one bit. There's no way they would just lull me into a false sense of security, right? They would never. They're not that cruel. Except that's exactly what they did the first time I came here. I walked right in and the rave music stopped. Huh. Anybody in the Forbidden Library? Because that would be another interesting twist on the suffering. No, I don't see anybody in the library. Interesting. Okay, so obviously this one is... Yeah, burned out. I... Figures. Let's take a look around, shall we? Take both the slide reels real quick. Real quick. Huh. I'll take a second to learn. Okay. Signals came out. They saw the eye of the universe. They were freaking out. Oh. So this is this is what was burned out. They ravaged their own planet to make this. Oh. No wonder they're so mad. They they tore apart the only home they have left to go to to get out here, and then found out that that this was just a place for the entire universe to die. Oh, yeah, okay. So we've learned about the loading zone. Remember that burnt house? Like, the one that was like a temple to the eye? Not in, not in the real world, but in the dream world. Um... 
Wait, I've just realized that we don't have... One with the little picture. I'm... Forgetting off the top of my head which one specifically. Um, actually, I've uncovered a problem with all this, is that this in no way turns off the light over there. That is not a thing we've done. That's the one piece we're still missing. I did earlier? I turned off... What did I- what did I do that opened that up? upon it before getting here by accident. Do you mean like being able to jump off into like the loading zone between worlds? Okay, so like I know that that it always takes you to the same place. Yes. The, the problem, and maybe maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're telling me, but the problem is when I'm on that side, I didn't spot any way to get to the other side of, of that one bridge from there specifically. What other things have I learned? So I know I can put down the lantern and see, like, the the virtual world. I know... I know turning off my lantern will make me invisible to those statues as long as they cannot see me. Like, as long as there's not another light source, which is where the problem currently is, is that there is a light source. And I don't know how to turn it off. Um, I know that in every one of every one of these worlds, there's been something that's hidden, like a, a hidden spot to turn off the lights, which I didn't see one there. But that doesn't a, a lack of evidence is not evidence of a lack, I guess. Why am I spending all this time trying to find the raft again? I can just do that. I don't have much time with it, though. Because this tower is going to topple at some point. So, remember when I said that? Uh, every, every single time. All right. For, for like a second, I, I called it out and then it started happening and for some reason my brain was like, huh, why is everything turning sideways? That's weird. Okay, so we know how to do two out of three of those things. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to drop myself into the loading zone. 
and I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna ignore the two that we already know how to do, because the first priority is getting into the one that we don't. Two artifacts being lit near green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. An alarm bell felling to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. Oh. Is there any way to... I have a really s potentially stupid idea. Cuz cuz here's here's my thought. And and follow me on this. You won't be revived by the bells if you're dead on the outside. I What if I meditate while standing on the fire? Cuz it will it will activate my It should activate my lantern because I'm in the room with the fire. But I shouldn't I shouldn't die. As long as I don't get myself killed in there, I should be okay. Because if I get killed in there, I assume it's just going to reset the loop. I might be totally off base here, but I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Because if I get myself killed on the outside... Here it is. Here it is. Moment of truth. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, no, this 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 guy has been going through it. And I and I respect them for sticking with it after this long. If he'd left me behind. I mean, so I will say, if you if you know that you're gonna come back, it's probably a lot easier to justify risking risking your life for an attempt at something. But it's like, I feel like no matter how many times you let yourself die, you, your body has an instinct to resist it. Yeah, exactly. But on, but on some level, you don't, you don't have at least the, the primal instinctual dread of knowing that there's nothing after it. You, in fact, have at least some level of comfort in knowing that there will be no lasting physical consequence. You're stuck in a time loop. You could read so many books. True. I almost forgot to hop off. Okay, so since we're dead, which is a sentence uh, I never thought I'd be able to just say seriously, since we're dead, the bells shouldn't do anything to us. Which means, uh, I keep trying to shine my light through, but I'm just turning them off. Okay, so there's one. We're using the rules of their simulation against them. 
I'll set my lantern down here for a sec. Step outside of its sphere of influence so that we can make ourselves a path. I hope I can I hope I can extinguish it without being I've been able to interact with everything else. I should be able to extinguish it without grabbing my lantern. Oh yes, thank you for not spoiling anything for Demon Slayer. Alright, now this... Hi, gentlemen. Oh yeah, they don't even slow me down now. I don't hear the dings. You hold no power here, creatures. <laughs> anyway. Uh, time to find out what's inside the sarcophagus. Surprise, it's your mom. I'm sorry. I really like that touch that... that you don't even, like, you don't hear the dinging anymore. Alright. Time to, time to free your mother. Oh, I hate this. Here we go, you say. I worry what you mean by that. Am I about to learn some shit? Prepare to cry. And sign up for this today. This wasn't the deal. Oh, they play weird chess. Okay. I started stream early. I absolutely signed up for this today. Not willingly. Hi. Are you are you the one reasonable one? <gasps> Who are you? Hi. Sorry for insulting your chess game right in front of you. I... I kind of feel bad about that. He has a... Tell me. Tell me about yourself. So he started all this. Yeah, so this is... They were here long before... any of us or the... Uh, or the Nomai were. So... That 
he he turned it on and they imprisoned him and turned it back off i'm i'm going to i'm going to take it in a second i i really do appreciate you but i i just want to walk through my thought before i unlock more thoughts yeah so he released the signal i assume the nomai saw it and started traveling in this direction they hid it away and then that's why the nomai were struggling so hard to find the eye when there was already a signal yeah, so I'm assuming this will be a translator now. Oh no, he knows about me. Here. Allow me to teach you about us. We're funky little dudes. And also, yeah, all of your people are dead and gone. All the music. So he's he's learning what he's Yeah, so this is pretty much what my theory was, yeah. This entire memory is different if you didn't learn about the Nomai. Oh, that's so cool. So, like, if I were to have just come here, he only learns a little bit. But this is, like, we're basically laying out the story as we discovered it. That's so cool. Oh, and we found this one little, this one little artifact that started off a whole journey. Is that us? scream oh yeah here you go buddy let me take my lantern back I'm gonna need that no don't don't leave don't Okay, well now I'm lonely. I mean, I'm dead. I can't really... Can't really do anything. Hold on, he sent the elevator back down for me. It's fine. It would have been really funny if he'd grabbed my lantern as I was showing him the memory and used that to get it. He's like, yeah, you just replay everything you've been through so far. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Is he finally going to get to see the outside world? is your spear of the lantern he'd be stuck yeah that's true but he could at least get out of the prison part I agree. Let's sail away into the sunset together.
Okay, so this implies he wants me to go with him. Didn't take that as a to the subset, I read that as to the supernova. Yeah. But that's really interesting. I think he he must have known. Yeah, we know what time it is. We got to we got to finish this now. It's proper ending time. Okay. Prisoner left one final vision for me by the water's edge as a farewell. Man. The burnt house in the dream world is his house. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay. Inside it, he had the continued image of the vision the eye showed him. Oh. It makes so much sense. Yeah. Because... Man. That's good shit. Alright, so we have to go to Ash Twin. We have to get the thing. We have to go to the ship and warp. Yeah, no, I was I was remembering about that. I I did not want to have to do the scout thing again. Cuz that's a whole thing. A lot more stress than it's worth. All right. So let's land over here by by Chert. Do his thing real quick. And by that, I just mean, like, doze off by the fire. I'm going to go for four minutes. That should be more than enough. Or, well, close to enough, probably. As we're... No, that's not even close to enough. I'll give it two more. Um, as we're getting close to the the end, end, I just want to say this is... This is... Very rapidly moved up my list of favorite games. It is just so, so intricately made and planned the whole way through. And I love everything about it. Oh, the towers are starting to come up. Okay. Like, I, I absolutely get all the hype that it got. But again, like, I am, I am shocked that so few people I know... Well, like, sorry, I, I got it recommended to me by a few people. Can I can I make it? Can I make it? No, I can't. There's there's no way. Unless there is a way. Or there's a will. It's the other side, you moron. Hey, honor. I was so I was so close to having it. All 
Alright, we'll wait for one more loop to go around, I guess. Wait, my ship! We have to- we have to make a rescue maneuver real quick. Ow! Uh, so, anyway, that happened. All right, back to the Ash Twin. I didn't mean for my ship to get picked up in that, but it's fine. Wow, that really, um... This place has, has drained out fast. Alright, we'll do this for real this time. No, I loved, I loved, like, slowly piecing together every little bit of the story and figuring out what happened. No, I went too soon! Alright, I guess we're waiting one more loop. What a... An annoying circumstance. I was so close. At least my ship's still on solid ground. One planet, spin faster, please, I beg of you. Hello, the sun. Okay. You, uh, you coming? Just kind of impatiently waiting on the Ember Twin for a moment. Question. If you... If you take the core and don't make it to the ship, what happens? My goal is to not find out firsthand. But I still want to know. Because if you take the core, the project, there are different endings. Is one of them just the universe is done, that's it, sucks to be you? Yeah, that tracks. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to give it a second. While this is overhead, I'm going to go now. Oh, I love I love that when I'm here like I can see the ship is like what? It passes 40 meters away from me. Because the sand has drained out to the point where we are now like I mean, we're walking on the outside of the core of the planet. And our ship is, at this point, the sand has drained away to the point where my ship is just resting on the core of the planet. Oh, 
overshot just a little bit. All right, let's go. I don't know how you got here, but sure, pop off, King. Okay, let's tag. Okay, again. That's just... That's just the big, big, like, you have the core and you're getting ready to go music. That's not the sun exploding. I'm pretty sure. Because I remember freaking out about that last time, and Multi, I think it was you who reassured me that I was not experiencing imminent death right after I got the core and doomed myself. Oh. I'm a fool. All right, in we go, boys. You go carefully by the walls. No way. I do this every time. I don't even want to risk refueling my jetpack. I've been told not to jump. So I, I won't do that either. I just hope we can drift close enough to the things to uh, be safe from the little buddies. By little, I mean enormous and terrifying buddies. They're still within, like, visible distance, so I don't feel super safe maneuvering yet. I'm going to drift a little closer to these and then start piloting. Saw the fish and freaked for a second. Yeah, me too, buddy. But, we're, but we made it. And I didn't crash this time. Unlike my usual. Oh yeah, one thing, one thing I forgot to ask about, um, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just forgetting in a moment of like, I'm, I'm kind of panicking and, and speedrunning getting this all set up. Did they ever fully explain what the Dark Bramble was? Like we know we know it's some kind of plant that just devours everything. But like is there any explanation of where it came from? Or 
Or did it just like... Nope. Okay. It's just it's just here. It's just one of those things. Alright, let's go. Okay. I'm keeping my scout launcher this time. I'm not firing it off into the void. Alright. Again, this whole area is just so cool. I didn't realize how close we were to the end. I kind of anticipated the DLC would take me longer, but... Man, and again, this whole lightning storm with, like... All I have to do is walk to the South Pole, but there's, like, the lightning storm objects flashing around me. I think I... I felt like I almost got moved by an object earlier. Like, my path shows that I didn't, but, like, I had a quantum object basically appear inside of me and then it went dark, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't be surprised if it moved me. Alright, boys. How did I do this before? It doesn't just let me up. I think I just... If I let myself into the center... Oh wait, no, I can probably just... Yeah, I can just walk off this. Duh. Alright. And... And again, the visuals in all this. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Alright. We know all about this stuff. Just before before I go, actually, I'll I'll read the one that's relevant to the DLC, because I imagine that might have changed. Uh Species travel from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the eye signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. Man, shout out to the prisoner. I'm glad. I'm glad that his story was told. So nice being able to take pictures again. All right, time to swat some universes out of existence. Ah. This one. That one. I'm doing my part. If we want to restart everything. They gotta go. No, I had that one. Fine. I'll get I'll get this one then. Ah. Alright. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Hey, Zix and three friends. How's it going, guys? We are we are just wrapping up here. Hello, tree. Am I supposed to go up to the top of this? I did it last time, but I feel like that was not the right play. But I'm doing it again anyway. Hope everybody's having a good night so far. I... I'm just close to wrapping up here tonight. Can't even tell where I am. Where is the ground? We may never know. Oh. The speed at which I was going there. What happened? Uh, but yeah, so we finished up the DLC, The Echoes of the Eye, and now we are just doing the, the main ending of the game again. Because something about it is... something about it is going to change, and I assume I know what that something is. Hey, buddy. You hear music? Yeah, I do. Alright. We already know how this goes. We just gotta let the building fall apart a little bit so we can get in. Hi. Not afraid of you anymore. Let's go see Chert. Or, or I guess we're doing this one first. Where did your... There you are. We'll grab Solanum first. Zoom in now. I'm curious to see what the 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 prisoners one is gonna look like. I like your vibes, buddy. isn't what I signed up for. Oh. Oh.
and everything's extinguished. Oh no. Everything went away when I extinguished the lights. Am I going to go away? Hi. Thank you. Oh, now he's got some now he's got some flowers. Well, that is all of our friends. I was not ready for his corpse to appear behind me. Hey, you know you can join us, right? When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult to truth. Like a light too bright to look direct to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you now you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Oh, hey, buddy. It's, uh, it's good to have you here. Man. He was... So there, there was the choice of not being ready to decide, which I assume would just let me talk to him again. If I'd said no, would he have just disappeared? Would I? Would he have not allowed us to come back? All right, so let's let Chert go. We're gonna get everyone in. Do you have a name? Are you allowed to have one of those? I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Bring it on, buddy. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. Wants us to jump in. All right, here goes nothing. I I'll never get over this ending. Also, I love how it like. Even though the shockwave hasn't reached us, it shattered our helmet. Get some pictures, buddy. All right. We wanted to save some memories of the end of the universe, at least. Man, fucking great game. That's that's all I got, really. Deserves every bit of praise it gets. I will heap some more on any time I'm given the opportunity. And now that I've now that I've seen it all, I'm excited to see. Because I I put off watching any videos about this game because I I knew. I know that I like doing games as blind as I can when I go in. So I've been I've put off watching anybody else play it obviously, and I'm really excited to see. 
what what everyone else's views are and how they experience it. And I know that's exactly what you guys came here for. Man, it's a, it's such a special experience. Things like this where like you you can't do it in any way but a game. Like those things just like tickle something inside me that they they scratch an itch in my brain. No, I'm just I'm just thinking back over all of it and like how many how many little things came up that were like the first the first time I saw something or the first time I realized how something worked. Like we learned about the quantum moon and I and I had that moment of like, man, I, I gotta keep an eye out for that, and then I glanced away and it was gone, and I realized that that, that right there was the quantum moon they were talking about. Realizing that like Brittle Hollow was falling apart, the first the first supernova. Thinking that thinking that the Ash Twin was just such a boring planet, only to realize that like all of the all of the dust was siphoning off to the Ember Twin and, and they were like a mirror effect of you have to visit them at the right time. You have to visit Ember Twin super early in the loop if you want to explore everything. You have to visit Ash Twin super late in the loop. Just everything about Giant's Deep. Love that place. I could have done with less anglerfish, but that's just that's just my deep primal fear speaking more than anything else. I think they were a good choice for the game. And generally whatever race the strangers were. Fuck all of that. But also, again, super cool. Really... It integrates into the game really well. It, it matches everything they've done before in that there's, like... It's this new destination. There's a really cool time-based thing that like changes the landscape as you as you explore and keeps keeps you on your toes about how far you are in the loop and then little indicators of how far in you are like you know when that tower tilts it feels like you're about halfway through when the dam bursts when the one tower falls over you know it's about to end An interesting new mechanic with the meditating and, and having this, like, shadow realm. And then this, like... I guess you kind of had a stealth section in the main game going through uh, the bramble. Just, like, trying to get past the anglerfish. But it's it's much more, like, visceral when you're just, like, in the dark and these things are there to, like, very very up close and personal snap your neck as opposed to like a, an anglerfish just biting down on your entire ship and you just happen to be caught up in it it's a very different kind of existential dread that they put you through in this but yeah once again uh annapurna they they haven't they have not missed with a single game of theirs that i've played i've loved all of them mobius digital fucking Kings, all of you, kings, queens, royalty in general. Uh, yeah, just very, very good. 14.3 billion years later. Let's see, do we Who lights up the fire now? Still these guys, alright. 
Oh. All kinds of friends. Man, I love this game. All right. I guess with that, we're wrapping up for the night. It, I know it's I know it's early. This was a short stream, but we're done with Outer Wilds. I I'm thinking next week. I'm going to find something short to play that I should be able to get done in one stream. I'm going to play it on Tuesday. Thursday, we're probably going to skip to next week's Thursday stream because we're leading right into Extra Life, which is going to be like right now we're at 27 hours. Once we pass 750, we'll be at 28 hours and that's going to be a long, long weekend. So I'm going to take Thursday to, to chill rather than add more hours to an already very long upcoming weekend. But yeah, between now and then, I'll do a Tuesday stream. I'll find something I can play in, in a quick evening. I will I'll finish planning out what Extra Life is going to look like. I have a I have a list of games. I just got to figure out in what order I want to play them, what ones are most appealing or like most exciting me. And then and then we'll stream. Uh Outside of that, I'm working on more YouTube videos. The next XCOM episode is already ready to go. It'll be coming out on November 7th. It'll be... Yeah, we'll basically finish up Extra Life and roll right into that. Uh, and then I'm, I'm working on some other stuff on the side, which should be coming soon. For now, thank you guys. I really appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great night. I will try to do the same, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Goodbye.